Hello, uh, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about the important uh, shortcuts that are available in Visual Studio 2019 that comes really handy while uh, debugging an application. So first, we will go through uh, this list of shortcuts to try to understand what they are and later we will go and uh, see them in action in Visual Studio itself. Okay, so starting with uh, the first one that is F5. Now, if you press F5, uh, this will help you to initiate the debugging process. Okay. The next one is shift F5. So this will uh, basically stop a debugging session. Okay. Uh, the next one is control shift F5. Now if you are already in a debugging session and you want to reinitiate or restart the debugging uh, once again, then you press control shift F5 and this will help you to do that. The next one is F10, that is step over. Now uh, if you are already executing uh, and you are in debugging session and your debugging pointer is pointing on a particular line and if you want to execute that line and move to the next one then uh, pressing F10 will help you to do that okay the next one is F11 uh, that is step into now uh, if your debugging uh, debugger pointer is pointing on a particular line and that line contains a method and what you want to do is you want to go inside that method and then continue your uh, debugging then pressing F11 will help you to do that. Basically, it will help you to go inside that method. That's why it's a step into. Okay. The next one is Shift F11. Now, uh, there might be a situation where you are already inside a method and uh, you want to execute all of its uh, remaining code, line of code, and you want to go back to uh, the place where that method has been called. Then uh, Shift F11 will help you to do that. Okay. The next one is control shift F10 that is set next step in. Now uh, there might be scenarios where uh, you want to skip few lines and go suppose to the next to the tenth line from where the current debugger pointer is or you want to go to the previous line. Then what you do is you go and place your cursor over there on that particular line and then press control shift F10. Now what it will do, it will, it will just move that uh, debugger pointer to that particular line and uh, your debugging will continue from that line itself, okay. The next one is F9. Now this uh, shortcut will help you to place or remove a breakpoint on a line, okay. The next shortcut is control F9. Now this will help you to enable or disable a breakpoint. Okay, uh, so let's get into Visual Studio and see how this shortcuts works. Okay, so uh, what I've done here is I have created a very small uh, console application. So basically, what it does is it's print that this is a console application on the first line, and after that, a method is called called Messenger. Now, this Messenger method, uh, what it does is it uh, calls another method called print message, which prints hello shortcut two times. Okay, and uh, as well as uh, what uh, this class does is it, it creates two instances of employee class, the first employee and uh, second employee. And after that, we are displaying the, in, uh, the information of first as well as second employee. So this is the method uh, what, uh, which displays the information. Basically, what it does is it prints the ID and the name of uh, the employee. Okay. So what we are going to do is first I'm going to show you how this application output looks so that uh, we can have a better understanding. Okay. So here we can see this is the output of the application. The first line is printed. The second, uh, the messenger method is called and after that messenger method is called within, uh, sorry, uh, within this messenger method print uh, message method is called which prints two message hello shortcut and then everything comes out and after that we are printing uh, the first employee information and uh, second employee information okay so let's start uh, with the first shortcut that is f5 so whenever we press f5 this initiates uh, the debugging session so uh, when we press this uh, uh, f5 what it is going to do is going to execute the whole application and it is going to wait at this particular line okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F5 to initiate uh, the debugging process. So here we can see everything is executed and currently it is waiting on this console.reach key line. So once I press that, 
the application will get completely executed and it will get closed so here we can see so this thing has uh, the application has executed completely and the debugging session has closed okay so the next one is uh, stop debugging okay so that shift f5 uh, shortcut so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press a place a breakpoint over here and i'm going to start the debugging session okay so let me just readjust the screen okay now what i'm going to do is i want to stop the debugging session so for this i'm going to press shift f5 so this should close the debugging session here we can see the debugging session has been closed okay the next one is uh, restart debugging by pressing ctrl shift f5 shortcut so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my uh, breakpoint over here so that whole application get executed and uh, the application should break at this line and next uh, after this we are going to place uh, a breakpoint over here and restart the session so that uh, we can see the difference okay so first i'm going to press f5 to initiate the process here we can see the output okay so everything every uh, code from the first line to this line has been executed so uh, for, but for some reason I want to restart it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my breakpoint over here and I'm going to uh, press ctrl shift f5 so that the application get restarted and here we can see the debugging session has restarted and only this line is executed okay so I'll just stop it okay so uh, the next one is step over so for this uh, Again, I'm going to start the process by pressing F5. And here we can see uh, the first line is only executed. Now, if I press F10, this method or this line will get executed and this debugger pointer will move to the next line. Okay, so I'll press F10. And uh, since we already know that inside this messenger method, we are calling print message, okay, method, and which in turn prints this two message that hello shortcut. So everything within this line is ex executed and the debugger has moved to the next line. So again, I I'll press F10 to move to the next line. And again here, uh, we are going to display the uh, employee uh, first employee information. So here we can see the output. Again, if I press F10, it will press uh, uh, print the second employee uh, information. That is, it is executing whatever is beneath, uh, beneath this line and moving to the next line okay so i'll just stop it uh, the next shortcut is f11 so if i restart the application okay now if i press f11 at this particular point now here is a method call now uh, if i press f11 instead of executing this line and moving to the next one uh, what it will do it will get inside this method okay so if i press f11 here we can see uh, the debugger pointer has moved inside this method now if i press f10 to move to the next line and if i press f10 again here we see uh, we can see this uh, line is executed and this message is printed now if i press f11 again uh, it should get inside this method now just to make uh, just to show the difference between f10 and f11 i'll just press f10 so that it won't get inside this method rather it will just execute the method code within this uh, method and it will come to the next line okay so i'll just press f10 so here we can see the whole method is executed and the pointer has moved to the next line okay so i'll press f10 again i'll keep on pressing f10 f10 and here at this point i'll press f11 so that uh, uh, my debugger uh, should get inside this display method so here we can see the debugger has uh, pointer has moved inside this method now I'll press f10 f10 to execute similarly i'll press f11 here i'll execute all the lines by pressing f10 and i'll come out okay so uh, basically uh, if the line does not contain any method and if you press f11 so uh, the method will uh, the shortcut will work as f10 okay that is step over if it contains a method then it will get inside that method so these are the basic difference between f10 and f11 shortcut okay so i'll start the stop the application so next one is next one is shift f11 so what it does it step out of a method so 
just to display that let me re-execute the application by pressing f5 now if i get into this messenger method by pressing f11 now here we can see that we are having this console right line there is a method call and again there is a console f line now i don't want to uh, go through every line of code what i want to do is i want to just move out of this method by executing every line of it so what i do is i press shift f11 and here in the output we can should see that uh, this line will get executed the print message um, method will get called and this whole code will get executed okay and uh, this debugger pointer will come here okay so i'll press shift f11 so here we can see all the lines of code get uh, got executed and the message was printed and the debugger pointer is back to this line so okay so i'll press f10 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 i'll press f11 to get inside this method now again i don't want to go through all the line one by one what i want to do is i just want to execute them uh, at once and come out of this method so i'll just press shift f11 and here we can see all the line within that method got executed and we are back uh, to the point where the method was called okay so i'll press f10 go to the next line and i'll press f11 to get inside this method and again i'll press shift f11 to come out or step over uh, step out of this method okay so i'll press shift f11 here we can see everything got displayed and we are out of this method so i'll press f10 to move to the next line okay so i'll just stop the application once again now the next one is uh, control shift f10 that is set next statement so for this again i'll start the debugging and we can see that up to this point uh, the application code was executed and now we are waiting on this particular line so what i want to do is uh, I don't want to execute this particular line. What I want to do is I want to directly come to this console dot or rather I want to come to this uh, uh, this particular line where this first employee uh, is getting instantiated. So what I can do is I work I can I have I can place my cursor over there and I'll press control shift F10 to move to this line. Now here we can see the code within this uh, messenger uh, was not executed as we can see in the output nothing was executed and uh, we can press f10 and uh, we have come to this point but for due, some reason i want to go back to this particular line and uh, ex start my execution from here so i'll set my uh, debugger pointer over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my cursor here again and i'll press Control shift f10 now we can see the uh, debugger pointer is pointing to this particular line again and I'll start my debugging from this point. Okay, so this is how it works. So I'll just stop the execution. Okay, the next one is F9. Now F9 is basically to place a breakpoint or remove a breakpoint. So we can see I've already placed a, a breakpoint using this mouse, curse, uh, mouse pointer. So if you placed uh, click rather on the particular line the breakpoint is uh, placed but you can do the same using a uh, shortcut by pressing f9 so my current cursor is on this line so if i press f9 a break breakpoint will be uh, placed here likewise if i click here and play press f9 a breakpoint will be placed now if i press f9 again on this line it will get removed so this is how it works okay now another one is uh, control f9 so this is used basically to enable or disable a breakpoint so for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my uh, place a breakpoint at this particular point as well as uh, i'll place a breakpoint here now if i want to disable this so what i do is i press control f9 so uh, this is uh, like having a breakpoint but it is it, it will not work so it won't the uh, the debugging uh, debugging session won't break at this particular line it is there but it is not existent okay so let me uh, show the difference first i'll 
enable the uh, breakpoint. So I'll press F5. So here we can see uh, the debugger has break at uh, this particular point. Okay, and we can see the output. So I'll just stop it, and I'll just disable uh, this uh, breakpoint. Now I'll, I'll start the session again. So what will happen there? Uh, it will not break at this particular point it will rather break at this point okay so i'll just press f5 and uh, here we can see as from the output the line was executed and it is particularly waiting at a first employee dot display line so if i want to display uh, disable it again i press ctrl f9 and move it accordingly okay so so these are the shortcuts uh, which comes really handy while debugging and uh, I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.